Today's mini lecture is uh, going to be about moving conductor in static magnetic field, which is part of EM waves uh, course, the second part of that course, part two, and uh, it's which is also part of the uh, Maxwell equations time varying field subject. There's different kinds. Obviously, you have the moving conductor in static magnetic field and the static conductor in moving magnetic field, or you have both moving conductor and moving magnetic field. However, initially, I uh, wanted to do a demonstration of a cross product result, the direction of a cross product result using these straws after this, the, the explanation of the moving conductor in static magnetic field, as you will see shortly in the video, because I did that video portion of it first. However, I decided to do the demonstration before that topic, before the moving conductor static magnetic field topic. So the fact is that you will see that on the video I was assuming that this demonstration will be shown later. But, uh, but now I'm, I'm starting it first. <clears throat> so what we're doing here is I glued in some straws to represent our axis, the popular x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. Uh, we, we use the colors to differentiate between these axes. Now, I use tape here. I wish I had uh, Play-Doh. Uh, the good old times with Play-Doh is gone. <laughs> so for now, I just am um, gonna do with tape. It was a little bit harder than Play-Doh to join them together, but that doesn't matter. I've got my axis here in 3D. So let's write these color codes for these axes and we keep it underneath it so we always remember. Uh, X axis is represented using our orange straw. Y axis is represented using our purple straw. And the Z axis is using is represented using our pink straw. Now, what you see here is only the positive Z, the positive X, the positive Y. Obviously, I'm not showing the other parts, but you can visualize it. Uh, the, the minus Y will go down this way. The minus X goes down this way. The minus Z goes literally in the paper, you can say. For now, I'll try to keep the X, the, these X, axis on the paper so I don't confuse people if I start rotating them and um, that's it so let's start all combinations will be if you take the X cross put this on the side for now X cross Y sorry X cross Y we need to know what the direction is of the result of X cross Y and if you did a cross product between y and x, which direction it will go, the result. And x cross z and z cross x. And y cross z, z cross y. Now that we have all of these, now that we have all these combinations, I think I got them all. What will happen is, let's start demonstrating this. So if you have the x-axis, which is here, cross product with the y, which is the purple, and you always use the right hand rule to do this. And uh, where the thumb is pointing would be the direction of the result of that curve, of that cross product. So by starting with X going to Y, what you do is you place your right hand adjacent to your X and you want to curl towards the axis you're doing the cross product with. So you're curling this right hand from the orange to the purple and you can see my thumb is pointing parallel to the pink straw which is our z axis the positive z axis so the result of this would be 
z hat. Now, y cross x would be the next one. Y, sorry, y, yeah, y cross x. Now we have the y, which is the purple, cross product with the orange. And again, right hand, I put it adjacent to my purple, and I want to curl to the orange, which is my x. And you can see, you can barely see my thumb, and that is because my thumb is pointing inwards into the paper, which is in the opposite direction of the pink straw. An opposite direction of the pink straw would just mean negative z. And just to rotate it just a little bit for you to see that my thumb is pointing the opposite in the direction of the minus z axis. So the result of this will be minus z axis. Now x cross with z. x, the orange and pink is the z. Again, right hand rule. You take your right hand, you adjacent to your x, you curl it towards your pink straw, which is your z axis, and that's what we're trying to do. And you can see where your thumb is pointing. You can see where your thumb is pointing. It's opposite the direction of the y axis, which would in the point is which is really pointing in the negative y direction. Similarly, Z with X, you put it adjacent to your pink and you curl to your X. Your pink is a Z and the orange is the X. You curl towards your X and then you see that your thumb is pointing in the, pur uh, in the direction of your purple straw, which is the positive Y axis. Now, Y cross with Z. Now, the Y is the purple, the Z is the pink. Again, you lay your ha right hand adjacent to your y-axis and then you curl towards your z and you can clearly see that your thumb is pointing in the direction of your orange straw which is the positive x-axis. Z cross with y. Again adjacent to your z which is the pink one and you want to curl it towards you want to curl it towards your purple straw which is which is the y-axis so by curling it you can easily see that your thumb is pointing in the opposite direction of your x-axis which would mean minus x hat so this is all combination and this is needed especially in our in our in, in this lecture the moving conductor in static magnetic field because this is where we will use a cross product between two vectors, the velocity and the magnetic field. So this wraps up for this. Usually, usually when you get used to using, you get used to solving these problems, you don't need the straws. Obviously, in exams you can't take them in. However, you can visualize this in your mind over time, and it's easy. For example, imagine the straw is here. You want to go x cross with z. You can see it's pointing in the minus y. If this is taken away, it's the same thing. You just have to visualize these axes in your mind while you're working on them. And it becomes really easy after some practice. And if you're going from orange to, pink, to purple, which is x to y, you can see it's going in the z direction. And if you're going from uh, x to minus z, it's, you can see it's going the y direction. If that's taken away, you can visualize these straws, you can say, or the axis in your mind. X going to the minus z, z direction. Uh, g uh, sorry, X curling to the minus z direction. It's pointing at the y direction. And next we'll be talking right now, uh, we'll be talking about moving conductor in static magnetic field.